Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you guys what's inside one of these LED bulbs. They're the new kind of bulbs that um, that they say to recommend to replace the CFL bulbs. Well, this one we got and it happened to be faulty. We just got this as a gift, so there's no way to return it to get our money back. So I was like, well, if it flickers and everything else works fine, it's not an electric problem. It's the bulbs problem. So I decided to go ahead and see what's inside this thing. So I've already kind of opened it up to make it easier. But at the bottom here, there's a base, which screws into the actual socket. And underneath this particular base, we got ourselves you know, our end cap. And we got a circuit board, and I've already removed that part. But we also got... Oh yeah, and then this base comes off too. So, this little plastic bulb cover. They're not made of glass, they're plastic. So, at the bottom here, we got ourselves a circuit board, which is our power supply. Um, because this is a compact um, setup. And we got ourselves our negative and positive wires. The negative wire, which is the black one, goes directly to this bulb, to the side. And then this top goes directly through and comes in contact with this end cap here. So then, I was like, cool, let's see what's underneath here. By the way, this is mainly stainless steel, so put this in with your stainless. But this circuit board actually pulls straight out, like so. And here, you can see, it looks like a edge connector. Flip it over, sure enough there is. This is just a four pin edge connector to correspond with the LED board. So here, we got ourselves a little board here. One little MLCC, which helps. Uh, it's just a compact capacitor. And they have silver in them. And a small IC chip right there. It has five pins. Three on one side, two on the other. So to get over, here, we just got some other things. A larger capacitor, fuse, and a couple other stuff. So there's some protection there. And of course, guys, it's a little bit of wire. So that's just a low grade board. And connecting to that, you can see the very bottom of there. You'll see a small little uh, socket there. So now we flip it over. And we got ourselves our six LEDs. So there's six LEDs, and that's our connector there. And it's fashioned by two screws. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those, and I'll show you what else is on the other side. Alright, sorry for the shaky camera there, but I've removed those two screws, and removing that, let's go ahead and try to put this up here, removing this, you can see it's loose, we can pull that straight off, and as you can see, it's a circuit board, but it's just printed straight on a piece of aluminum. So that's pretty cool. You can see it's all um, CNC'd, or basically just milled aluminum. And of course, our connector, which directly connects. So right there, this is the other side, directly plugs in. Straight in, like so. And what's nice about this is that it's easy to replace, so you can actually just buy this kind of circuit board if you can find it and just plug it right in. And, you know easy fix so yeah there you go I don't think there's any gold in there since so there's no gold plating on the connectors so now we got ourselves another um, piece of metal and I can most likely be able to just pop this straight out and boom so there you got a piece of plastic and a screw and it appears that this is one solid piece of metal you can see it's kind of um, one piece and you flip it over and yeah so this is all one solid piece of metal so let's go ahead and see what this is made of what kind of metal all right I got a so sour bunch of magnets. 
looks like this is all cast aluminum. So this is a big piece of cast aluminum as the base, which kind of makes sense because it's like an aluminum heat sink. Because these things produce a lot of heat naturally, so they need somewhere to dissipate that. And since there's no ventilation anywhere, they have to dissipate it out through this and basically remove the heat that's produced through this particular kind of aluminum piece. So this piece surrounds the entire LED setup and everything. It releases the heat so it keeps it cool. So yeah, in short, kind of interesting. Not worth your time to um, break it apart if you have one. But if it breaks, definitely get it out and get as much money as you can. Because there's a nice solid piece of aluminum. It's not very heavy, in fact, it weighs this much. So that is us a little scale here. Just warming up. Put this on the scale. It's only 37 grams or 1.319 ounces. So, not too heavy. And our little tiny circuit board here. Included with the wire is 0.1 ounces, so not too much. Or okay, let me just bring this back here. 75 grams. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course, you got your plastic here. this here, this side, and we got ourselves 285, oh, this is actually grains, hold on, we got 18.5 grams, 4.8 grams, which is the circuit board's weight, so yeah, a little bit of stainless steel, dirty stainless steel here. 2.7 so yeah I'm usually put this in with my steel because my scrapyard's policy on stainless steel is really tricky so yeah anyway that's all hope you found that interesting and in short just some plastic a nice piece of cast another piece of cast to dissipate the heat directly attached to this and a low grade board so yeah, no worry about mercury or anything. There ain't no mercury in here, so no need to worry about that. So you can smash these. In fact, this isn't even glass, it's plastic, so that's a bonus. So you can abuse it as much as you want without it causing any danger to you at all. So yeah, thanks for watching, and hope you found that video interesting.